Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to go for a little ride to the closest galaxy to our solar system and basically to Earth. It's a galaxy that has actually been discovered relatively recently and it's a galaxy known as Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy, also known as CMA Dwarf. We're going to use Space Engine for this and you're going to learn something about our galaxy as well. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So let's actually start by escaping our own planet Earth and of course our solar system just so you can actually see where this close galaxy is located and you'll actually be surprised how close it is. And so as we actually start moving through the galaxy here you'll notice that we're about to escape it and you'll basically get to see the Milky Way from a distance. So there is the central region of the Milky Way. Our planet Earth is somewhere over here. And we're actually not going very far. The way to for us to find the, one of these galaxies, one of the closest galaxies to us, is to actually um, increase the uh, magnification here. And you'll start actually seeing a lot of new things. You'll actually start seeing a lot of globular clusters. And I'm going to fly through some of them just to kind of um, explain to you some of the new findings. So in the last few years, we've uh, used something called two mass, um, which was a, a kind of an infrared analysis to discover quite a lot of things that were previously invisible to us. This was an infrared analysis that discovered all of these globular clusters you see right here and right here and right there. And many of them actually form something known as Monoceros Ring. Now, Monoceros Ring is um, a kind of a well-studied um, subject. It's basically a ring that we're going to recreate in one of the future videos that forms a very interesting pattern around our galaxy, making our galaxy a lot larger than we previously thought. As a matter of fact, in 2015, which is only a year ago for me, we discovered that our galaxy is not actually this small. It's about this big. It's about um, almost like a twice the size, meaning that our Earth is actually somewhere in the middle of the galaxy, as opposed to being in uh, about two-thirds away from the center. And what we've also discovered is that this Monoceros ring actually f uh, is formed by possibly a destruction of another galaxy, or possibly by some kind of a very interesting interaction of matter inside the galaxy that we still haven't really been able to explain. But what is interesting is that during that two-mass study, we also discovered a really, really, really interesting, very, very small, but relatively close galaxy that you see right there. It's literally hugging our own galaxy. And this particular object is known as CMA Dwarf, also known as Canis Major Dwarf Galaxy or Canis Major Over Density. Now, the reason why it's actually known as over density is because we're not 100% sure that this is actually a galaxy just yet. We've recently discovered it, we're still studying it, but we kind of are going to assume that it is actually a galaxy because it sort of does look like a dwarf galaxy and because it sort of behaves like one. Now, what we know for sure is that this particular galaxy is slowly being absorbed into the Milky Way and basically it's going to disappear at some point and in the last uh, billion or so years, it already lost quite a lot of its mass um, quite a lot of those globular clusters that you saw a few minutes ago are actually, a, used to be at least, part of it. But uh, today we know that it's kind of there, it's very very close to our own galaxy and it's actually not very far away from uh, the solar system that we live in, uh, in either. It's only about 7,000 light years away, so it's actually closer to our solar system than to the center of uh, the Milky Way. So Earth is actually right here. And this right here is CMA Dwarf, and the central region is right there. So it's only about 7,000 light years away, which is actually not very far. Um, Earth is closer to this galaxy than it is to our central black hole. Now, previously, there was actually another galaxy uh, that we thought was much closer to us, and I'm going to show it to you in a second. It's going to appear somewhere right there. There it is. We actually thought that this was the closest neighboring galaxy, known as... Um, Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidal Galaxy, also known as SAG DSPH. Uh, this was basically a galaxy that consisted of four, or I guess it still is a galaxy, that consists of four globular clusters. And in, in this case, uh, we, we actually discovered this back in 1994, um, but um, we now know that it, it's very likely to be not the closest one. So this particular dwarf galaxy is about 10,000 light years in diameter, 
and it's about 70,000 light years away from, um, from Earth. And this galaxy will too at some point be very likely absorbed, um, absorbed by the Milky Way and basically disappear completely and become part of our own um, galactic uh, spiral disk. But uh, we're not talking about that galaxy. We're actually talking about this right there. So let's zoom into CMA Dwarf and briefly discuss what's inside and what we know about it. So it's actually hidden from us by all of the uh, galactic dust and galactic clouds, so you would never be able to see this with a regular telescope. But using infrared telescope, we can definitely actually see not only the actual galaxy, but uh, a lot of its parts as well. Now we're going to actually go into the middle and see if we can discover the, um, the central black hole, because I would like to actually see if we can maybe find it. Although, considering the fact that this is actually a very large galaxy consisting of about a billion stars, it might be kind of challenging. Now, this particular galaxy is classified as the irregular galaxy, and it's about 25,000 light years away from our solar system, but over 42,000 light years away from the galactic center. It's uh, somewhat elliptical in shape, and, and this galaxy is located in the region known as Canis Majoris, which is um, also sometimes known as the dog. And um, here we're actually possibly approaching the center of this particular galaxy, because I think maybe inside this globular cluster there might be a black hole. Now, so let's uh, go inside of this and try to find the central black hole while we talk a little bit more about... Um, what this galaxy is all about. So, um, the fact that this galaxy exists and the fact that we know that Milky Way is absorbing it slowly kind of um, gives us a proof, or I guess shows us, that many different galaxies do grow by absorbing their neighbors, specifically smaller galaxies. And this one here is about 1% of total mass of the Milky Way, and it's actually going to be absorbed uh, in the next uh, few billion years completely. It's going to disappear and become part of the Milky Way. Now, my guess is that the central black hole might be somewhere in here. So we're going to inch our way toward the center and try to discover um, and see if it's actually here. And while we're approaching uh, this black hole, which is hopefully somewhere here, um, let me just also mention that not everyone believes that this is an actual galaxy. There's actually quite a lot of researchers that think that maybe, just maybe, um, this is just um, a part of the uh, halo of the Milky Way. Maybe these are just stars that are there in, in a kind of a, a globular constellation as well that basically make it look like an actual galaxy, but in reality, it might be just a natural formation. I have a feeling this right there might be the actual black hole because I'm getting really, really close to it. So maybe this is actually it. So let's get a little bit closer and take a look at it and maybe even go inside. And there we go. Look at that. So um, you can actually see the orbits of all of these stars orbiting around what seems to be a central, very, very bright region, which can only be one thing. It can only be a black hole. There's a bit of a slowdown there because I think the game was loading all of these stars and we can actually decrease the magnitude now because we don't need to see so many stars. As you can see, if you increase the magnitude, you almost see all of the stars that this galaxy has. Whereas if you decrease it, it becomes more manageable to, um, to go through the simulation without your computer basically crashing. And so here we go. We're approaching the uh, relatively small supermassive black hole. And I guess that's a funny play on words. Small supermassive. It's small compared to other supermassive black holes, but it's definitely still a supermassive black hole that you're going to see any second now because we're definitely getting closer and closer to it. And I don't really know the exact size of this black hole, but there it comes. A very, very bright accretion disk. And we're going to stop right in front of it just so that you can actually see it. And there it is. So let's actually slow down time here so you can see the accretion disk orbiting um, a little bit slower than it was orbiting before. And we're going to approach the center. Here it is. This is what it looks like inside the CMA Dwarf um, galaxy. And this is what it's like on the actual event horizon of this particular black hole. Not that we'll ever be able to get here, because this would be scientifically impossible, or very, very, very improbable. Anyway, so that's basically the center of this galaxy. We're going to escape it now, take a look at it again from a distance. But I also wanted to mention that we now um, also know that a lot of the other globular clusters that we were aware of previously might have actually come from this particular galaxy, and a lot of them are available in Space Engine. Like, for example, if I were to find an object known as 
NGC 1851 that's located right there about 17,000 light years away from us and I'm going to try to make it a little bit more bright so you can see it. Uh, this object may have actually come from here. It may have actually come from this particular galaxy. Uh, when, um, essentially, the Milky Way disrupted the galactic formation here, and uh, that part kind of got separated from the rest of the galaxy. So a lot of these globular clusters may have actually originally come from the uh, CMA dwarf, um, dwarf galaxy. So... That's uh, what we know about it so far. All of this is still a, a bit of a speculation, but it's basically the closest explanation we have to how these global clusters ended up so far away from our um, own galaxy, the Milky Way. And that's, of course, the uh, CMA Dwarf. It does take a while to load, mostly because I'm actually using an add-on to uh, try to recreate this galaxy, because originally this galaxy is not in Space Engine. And you can actually find this uh, mod and download it yourself uh, from the um, forum board of Space Engine. Now, before we finish this video, I actually am going to, to go back to Earth and show you where exactly uh, this uh, galaxy is located. So let's return to Earth and look behind us and actually discover um, where you can maybe possibly see this galaxy if you were to actually have a very powerful infrared telescope and you really, really, really wanted to find it. So here is our own solar system. Here is our beautiful planet Earth. And now we're going to turn around, look into um, the area of where Orion's belt is. We're going to increase the magnitude and wait for the galaxy to pop into view. And there it is. It's, if this is Orion's belt, that's where you would find the beautiful CMA dwarf irregular galaxy. It's about 25,000 light years away or about 7,000 um, kiloparsec away from us. Now, this is where it's located in Space Engine, and this is uh, essentially the add-on you can download from the forum boards that I'm posting um, in the description below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you learned something from, from this video, and hopefully now you know a little bit more about our own galaxy, and of course about the neighboring galaxy known as CMA Dwarf. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this video with your friends, and maybe even post a comment below. Do you know any other cool galaxies we can go and explore, and something cool about them? I'll see you guys in the next video, came you later, and as always, bye-bye.